wars and the changing of the political power of country usually bring trauma to people, especially for Greek people. Theo Angelopoulos, a Greek director, his narratives focus on the trauma of history to the Greek because he hopes these films would have a therapeutic effect on his compatriots. This audiovisual essay will research Angelopoulos' unique narrative style and excellent lens expression from his two Greek language films, The Traveling Players, 1975, and Voyage to Caesarea, 1984. In the traveling players, Angelopoulos tried to reveal the fact that throughout the 20th century, even today, the division of Greece was caused by political problems. In this movie, Angelopoulos describes a group of actors who have experienced important moments in history of Greek. The actors are not just actors; they are helpless witnesses of important historical events as well. Let's enjoy this long shoot. After the paper dispersed, the camera lens remains there, and then it completes a 360-degree surround shooting to present the square. There are only a few bodies in the middle of that. When the camera still photographing the bodies, a Scottish bike paper appears in the picture. He plays the music, and calmly walks through the bodies in the square and left. At this time, one of the bodies in the square suddenly stood up and ran away. Then the man slowly left the square with that man. And then begins to shift to the left, following the demonstrators who came directly to the square. The man follows this group of people who had the portrait of Marx and the communist flags. The lens continues to move to the left, showing people coming from the other road. Finally, the lens follows this group of people from the behind, and then an the recording. From celebrating the end of the war to start the fight again. Angelopoulos created this psycho scene to expose the fact that for the victims, resistance is futile, but may even lead to destruction. In the voyage to Caesarea, Angelopoulos focuses on individuals who can identify potential problems and encourage broader emotional identity. Greece in the early 1980s was quite different from the Greece a decade ago. Before that. The country joined the European Union in 1981. Then, dictatorship, democracy, and the status of Western European countries finally became safe. From the 1950 to 1974, the political polarization and ideological division of Greek politics were broken. In a voyage to Caesarea, the old man Spiros' return from exile is a trauma. Because he can't reintegrate into society as an old leftist, he has no place in contemporary society. More than that, Spiros's old village in Greece has been deserted, and the land will be sued for tourist development. Therefore, this scene is shown at the end of the film. Spiros and his old wife are floating on a raft in the sea. They are the people abandoned by the times. This scene fully reflects the trauma of history to people. In conclusion, the traveling players and the voyage to Caesarea 
fully reflects the trauma of the Greek people in the two periods. As Angela Flew said, the most important thing about directing historical films is to feel the importance and the power of history through the politics and images. Rather than describing historical events repeatedly, this might be the reason why Theo Angelopoulos' movies get succeed.